Hello and welcome to episode 4 on Woodside Farm. So at the end of episode 3, I asked everyone where you think we should put the round bales which we did in that episode and I have had a number of suggestions at the time of recording this video. Uh, one person wants me to put them in this shed here where the rake, tedder and forage wagon is. Uh, that would be pretty good, it's just it's quite a big shed and I don't know, it's probably better for machinery. Uh, no one suggested this one here, which is probably a good thing because that's where our fertilizer and seed store is. Um, moving up here, I think probably at the time of recording, probably 40% um, of everyone have requested that I put them in that shed just there. No one has said what the uh, straw over there is for, if that is a storage place or a sell point. So I'm still not sure about that and I had a couple of nice suggestions of this little shed here. That is a good shed and it would be good for the, the little skid steer loader to get into so I'm finding quite hard to decide actually where we should actually put it. Um, all of them are good suggestions but I just don't know which one would be the best place to put the bales. Oh and also I think I probably had one person who suggested to put it in here as well. Uh, so. Um, as most people have suggested the cow shed, I think it would probably be best if I did go and put them in the cow shed, uh, if I know how to get in there. I'm not sure how to get in there yet, so we'll just have a little look. Um, so yeah, we can drive through here, I'm not sure if this gate will open, if it doesn't open I can't get in here, but here would be a good place, if I can. So I think what I'm going to do is jump into the skid steer and try and get them through this gate. If I can't get them through this gate, then I could try and go all the way around again and then park the tractor here, because I can get in here with the tractor, and then we can just go through here and stack them over there. So we'll give it a go. If this doesn't work, then I'll just take it around a long way. Uh, but first of all, I need to go and get the skid steer. Okay, so we left it here. Um, probably shouldn't have done. I'll take this over to that yard. The only thing about taking it the long way round is it'd be pretty tricky to get into that gate, I'd imagine. I couldn't. Re I can reverse it in. It's not impossible. For some reason, it is easier to reverse into these fields rather than driving in forwards. So we'll see. Right, so first of all, I'm just going to drive up to the gate, see if it opens. Instead of picking up a bale first. Ooh, it does, <laughs> it opens this way. So yeah, that's good. I will just get the first bale then, and we'll just keep taking them around there. This is a good place to unload because there's more space. Hopefully my unloading skills are a bit better than my loading skills, although I think they did improve. It's finding that right point in the bale to put the spike. That must be right. Right, so as much in the cab in the tight areas as possible, I think. Hopefully I can make quite a good stack here. Not sure how close to the edge I'll be able to get this. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'm not that good. Not very good at judging where the bale is. Okay, so next bale. I'm hoping this is going to be quite a therapeutic job. Because when you've been busy all day and then you load up farming simulator, you don't really want to do anything too strenuous. Oh, although I'm making it more strenuous. 
So I'm considering also making Woodside Farm three days a week and Cobble Park Farm two because um, it's not that I don't like Cobble Park Farm, it is a fantastic map, it really is. Um, absolutely love it, always will do. It's just this is my new series and I seem to get a feeling of how people like my videos, if they like it or not. And I'm certainly getting more of a sense of enjoyment from people watching this video than they do from my other videos, any video in fact. So um, yeah, if you want it to be three days a week, do comment below. If you would prefer me to stick with three days a week on Cobra Farm, that is absolutely fine. Like I said before, it doesn't bother me. I do a video a day, whatever it is. I love all the maps, which I do. So, uh, yeah, just please express your opinion. I'd be happy to listen. Um, even if that is an opinion of my stacking skills. Ah, cow! Okay, and bail number three. I don't know if I'm even going to have enough bales to stack it or not. I'm hoping to put them all the way along the back. That is so good though with the skid seat. You can just turn on the spot. Literally. Love that. Right. So, bail number three. I will speed this up, I think. It would probably look quite good as a time lapse. That cow's walked in there thinking, hmm, this is new. What are these bales doing here? Let's get it off. I don't think a cow would think like that anyway. Okay then, so uh, yeah, we'll speed this up. That should make it a bit more interesting. A bit less painful to watch. And hopefully then I'll be able to move on to a different job. Right, so that is an entire row. I'm going to start attempting to stack on top. We have is it three left on here. Four. Three. So I'll get them on. And then we'll be able to move the bale trailer out of the way. I love using this. I'm really do. This is probably one of my favourite machines at the moment. Because you can just whiz in and out of all these tight areas, which other machines can't get to. Right, so now get this first one on top. Hopefully I can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still not in the right place. got that. Yeah, it looks to be right. I've got the times fairly level. So 
tell you what, if I take this off, keep these totally level, maybe not put it fully on as well. Slowly pull out. Yes. So it's on. It doesn't look amazing. Don't know how easy it is to stack them inside there. Um, I've never really done it. But I think I will start to get the hang of it slowly. Two more. And then we're done. Good job I haven't got another trailer. Another trailer load to do. I'll be here forever. And yeah, they're going to need some feed these cows. We've got a productivity thing up there on the inspector mod. 5% okay so I've just had a bit of a tidy up and I've actually managed to get another bale space in here so we have to put this one in here yeah it's uh, it is very very messy I know but they're in there they're undercover and they're safe and we've only got one more Thankfully, because I don't want any more, I just can't stack them very well. Uh, I'm going to have to try and use the auto stacker or something in the future. Although, yeah, I don't mind using this, even though I find it tricky. I just enjoy doing it. The final bail. Yeah, well I can do this one then. Probably just as bad. I think I'm going to leave it like that. If I touch it, I'm just going to make it fall off or something. So I'll leave it there. And um, actually this can, this can stay in here as well because I've got no reason to use it. So we'll turn that off and we'll run over to our New Holland. Somewhere the bell trailer is going to have to be stored. But where? Not in here. Isn't really space. Alright, so I haven't got anywhere obvious to store it. So just there for now. And the next job is going to be some mowing. I want to start that off because we're going to have to do quite a lot of mowing on this map. And for this we're going to use the JCB. So we'll just get this thing warmed up. And we're going to have to drive over to our livestock farm. Pick up our mowers, our newly scaled mo uh, mowers. They are much better. There should be an, a noticeable difference. Okay, here we are. Front one first because I've put the rear one on first before on the John Deere and it just flipped right up backwards. It was so heavy. I don't know why. I really don't know why it would do that. Because I don't think I don't think in real life the rear mower would flip a tractor. Um, it would probably make it very light on its wheels maybe even bring the front wheels off the ground but not make it go right over backwards that would be a bit excessive um, so we'll drive over to our field which is number 13 I believe I think it is, we'll just check on here um, 13, yep yeah, it is so that should be a good field to do looks like next to field number 41 there is like a grass patch as well but uh, we will probably avoid that for now just in case it is 
nothing we can cut. So first of all, let's drive to field 13. Hopefully we'll get it all cut today and then we'll work with it uh, in the next video. And I think there'll be hay bales. There should be hay bales. Right, so it's very low trees around here. And, oh, wow, that is a low tree. Okay, I was not expecting it to be that low. How am I going to get in the field? Unless there is no collision, of course, that would make it much easier. Okay, slow and steady. Okay, we have it's a collision. That's going to make this pretty tricky then. Oh, 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 squeezing underneath. Okay, that is an issue. We may have to see and see if I can cut that off or something because that is going to be a right pain if I can't even get in and out of the field. But, um, yep, we're in now, so we might as well get it cut. Hopefully, yeah, come on, lower, lower those, and, oh, come on, there we go. We should be able to get lots of hay from this. A lot of trees down here, they must have strong winds down here. All the trees have fallen down. And uh, we'll try and get as close to the edge as possible. Now this is a good sized field. Very good size. Because I don't like the ones which are so small you can't even turn around. But I also don't like the, si the size of fields when it's so big that you can't see the other side of it. Uh, this is oh, there's a good another good entrance. We'll use that one in the future then. Uh, so yeah, this is a good size field. Uh, good thing I noticed that entrance there because that is going to be very handy. It must be like this one down here must be an old entrance or something and it's not used anymore it's all overgrown or maybe it's just designed for vintage tractors not one of these great big JCB fast tracks but yeah this is uh, different for me because I don't usually do the double mower on the back I usually just have the front one and then that side one so we're actually doing a lot of work in one go here but I thought for this map it is the most suitable one because of, well, how many grass fields there are. It seems to me more of a livestock farm than it is an arable farm, but still mixed. But we are desperately going to have to try and get that productivity up on our cows and sheep. But to do that we're going to have to get our feed, first of all. So uh, yeah, we I did this a few days ago as well on Cobra Farm and I was told that it would probably be best to go around the headland three times, I've gone around, I've done three times actually, and then go up and down, probably easier. So I could try that, I think that is probably a good idea. Start to go up and down. Don't know if I have to lift them at the end or not, I might be able to turn without lifting. It doesn't look right though. I probably should lift them up. So this can start to dry in the sun. Ready for bailing. I do like this tractor. First time I've properly driven it, I think, really. First time I've done work with it. But I do think we need a big tractor, just one, because there are going to be some jobs which require a big tractor. Hopefully that's still, yeah, turned it off by accident. And yeah, this is going to be the one. It'd be handy for 
potato harvesting. It will be handy for um, pulling any large trailers if we get any. And really any job which requires a large implement on the back. But I think it's a good good one for mowing as well. Because these mowers, as I said before, seem really heavy. And this tractor it copes with them quite well. So we've made short work of using the JCB and the large mowers. We've got our final bit here. And I'm going to keep the mowers on this tractor because I think we'll probably need it very soon. We'll be doing more mowing. Finish off there. And we're done. So uh, we'll turn it all off, fold it all up, and then take it back. This time trying out the other entrance and hopefully there's no overhanging trees down here. I think it was a good idea to go up and down the field. Uh, it's still really tight though, really tight. It's going to be another one of those entrances where I can't turn left. We will just reverse back up the track onto the main road. Now I know what comments I'm going to get. Use a smaller tractor, use a smaller mower. And yeah, I agree. Uh, that would be best for a number of these fields. And I probably should get a smaller one for the smaller fields and then just use this one for that field there, for example. That would be the sensible option. But we'll be coming back to this in the next video. For now, we'll put this away. But we'll be leaving it accessible for when we do the next field. So, engine off. Thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.